Well, Cancer, I just finished your weekly love tarot reading, and this one definitely took an unexpected turn. If you've been feeling hurt by a lover who left, prepare to feel vindicated. The devil, death, and a tower moment definitely reveals some karmic justice is coming. So let's go back to the beginning and see how it all unfolds. Your weekly love tarot reading begins with the hanged man, four of wands, the 11-11 card, two of wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. The person in this connection with you is coming in with an Eight of Pentacles, an Eight of Wands. We have Death Energy, and we have that beautiful Queen of Pentacles. What's the connection here? Six of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have another Nine. Nine of Wands. Okay, so, wow. Um, welcome, welcome. This is Bow and Arrow Tarot. Chances are you're brand new to my channel and my readings. And this is the weekly love tarot reading for the sign of cancer. Every week I take a look into a particular relationship that each of the signs has with someone in their life. And this week, today, we're going to take a look at you and your person. What's the connection here? A six of swords. So right away, we're talking about traveling, leaving, returning, movement, Right? right away, we're talking about um, actual changes in location, changes in outlook. Six of Swords is decidedly wanting to move towards calmer waters, calmer shores. And so this is the connection here. At the bottom of the deck, we do have a Nine of Wands as well. So Cancer, at the bottom of all of this is a desire to dig a little bit deeper, pull in some more strength, and uh, sort of push through. There are some obstacles here. Definitely some obstacles in this uh, relationship that we're going to take a look at. But let's begin with you and your person, okay? And then we'll, of course, pull many more clarifiers. We'll take a look at how you see each other, the relationship. But right away, you coming in with the hanged man, or in this deck, the hanged one, your person, eight of pentacles. So you've been holding on, holding on, holding on to a particular outlook, a particular viewpoint, right? Right? in this connection and your person has been just busy working right busy busy working these are the separate energies that you're coming in with let's begin to clarify it almost feels right away that uh hangman energy oftentimes uh cancer it's just it's it's as if uh you've been sort of a bit stubborn a bit stubborn about your opinion on something or the way you view something, right? Um, sometimes that stubbornness can lead to an understanding and sometimes it keeps you from an understanding. So let's go ahead and pull some clarifiers and see what is this all, What how is this hangman energy for you connected to the Six of Swords? Because hangman is a really, really heavy level of sort of commitment. It's almost like an ascetic monk, you know? It's somebody who just stands the course, stands the course, no matter how long or, or you know, how constricting sometimes it can be. Show me more. Magician energy and a moving, okay, so a loss. Eight of Cups, Six of Swords. So there was a separation here, okay? Definitely there was a separation. Let's see what the energy is for your person. When it, either you or your person moved away. Show me a uh, Cancer's person with all of that work and that labor and that focus. Page of Pentacles and death. Wow. So right away... Eight of Cups energy, magician energy, uh, cancer, somebody's left, somebody's gone, right? Somebody's turned their back, they've walked away, and um, it's almost as if for you, in order to deal with that, right, and deal with that separation, you have maintained, as I say, with this hanged man energy, a particular position, stubbornly. Um, I want to say in a way to protect yourself even, right? Protect yourself from the feelings that are brought on by this Eight of Cups. You know, this individual who um, who walked away from you. Now we're going to find out more about who that is. Is it this person or is it someone else when we look at this section? But here, let me talk about your person quickly. Eight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles and Death. They've thrown themselves into their work. They've thrown themselves into their work and they've thrown themselves into a new opportunity, right? It could very well be that you, 
your person may have had to leave for work. They may have had to leave for work or to follow a particular path. But that death has come in. There's been some huge change here in them. Not necessarily, uh, well, by definition, I guess, in this relationship as well. But there was some big change that happened in this person's life. And it absolutely had something to do with their work, right? Absolutely has something to do with, um, you know, what they do for money or the or what they do in general. So let's take a look at how you and your person see each other. What do you see when you see them? You see happiness. You see the 1111 card. You see happiness in their life. You see celebration in their life, right? Um, they see you and they see a lot of energy. They see a lot of movement, eight of wands. It almost feels like, listen, it feels like this is um, cancer. This is someone, I hate to say it, but this feels like a heartache reading. So there goes, there's the siren every day for some reason, at some point during the reading, in comes the siren. Take that, take that sign as it resonates with you. Um, maybe alarm bells, you know, maybe what you see isn't exactly how happy they really are. You know what I'm saying? But in any case, four of wands, you see them right now and it almost feels as though they are content. This feels like a breakup that's happened, cancer. This feels like a breakup and um, it feels like uh, a person, they they left. Something changed in them. You know what I'm saying? Something really changed. And it has something to do with like very strongly what, you know, like what they've been up to physically in their life, job, money, right? Um, some of you, this person may have left left because of money, right? Left to, but yeah, there's a heartache here. Let's show me more about that 1111. Wow. Ace of wands and the devil comes in. Wow. Um, so for some of you cancer, this person left to follow uh, a path that perhaps wasn't the greatest path in the world to follow. Right. What do you see when you see them? You see this celebration, this happiness, right? Um, but you also see that something new has coming into has come into their life that is not good. That is really, really not good. I almost wonder here, Cancer, do you see them moving on with another person, but somehow you see the true side of that person? You know what I mean? It's like you are holding on to your position here. Like you're holding on to your position, and I'm starting to get really strong sense that you're like, listen, I'm holding on to the fact that this new person in your life that you may indeed have left me for is not a good look. It's not. They come in with devil energy, right? They come in with addiction. They come in with, you know, grasping, desire, excess, selfishness, um, all of those, you know, kind of... Uh, baser emotions that are associated with the devil. This also feels like this is brand new. Listen, and this is how my readings tend to go. Again, if you're new to my channel, we start off with a basic idea here. But once we get into how you see each other and how you see the relationship, we get a lot more specific and a lot more interesting. And right away, I'm seeing that here. Let's pull the cards for your person. No wonder when they see you, they have eight of wands. They're getting all kinds of energies off of you, Cancer. And I think to a certain degree... They they are they're picking up on your energy. They're picking up on the fact that you can see things aren't well. I think they're picking up on, you know, perhaps you're trying to let them know, you know, hey, watch out. They're picking up on all of that. But the Eight of Wands also is a card that kind of uh, talks about boundaries, like putting boundaries in place. And so it also feels very much like your person doesn't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it. Right. With this money involved in this death and this new celebration, they may have left uh, to go with someone who they believe is like better materially. They believe they may offer them more financially. Yipper. Six. Wow. Damn. Six of Pentacles in a tower. Looking deeper into how they see you, Cancer. Wow. Like they can see that the that. <laughs> 
You have money and and you have uh you're gracious with it, right? You you have money, you have funds, you have success, and you're very gracious with it. And they can see that. They can see that you're the type of person who shares and gives of yourself. But at the same time, they're catching a tower moment too. They're catching a tower moment. It almost feels like as soon, listen, it almost feels like as soon as they leave, because definitely this feels like a person has left you. This is the connection here. They left. They moved on. For some of you, Cancer, they may have physically moved on. But they moved on to something toxic. They think it's wonderful. They think it's great. But they moved on to something toxic. And very, very quickly, Eight of Wands is swift energy. Very quickly, they find out with this Tower moment that, oh, my God, I might have made the wrong decision. I might have made the wrong decision decision okay because here my cancer is exactly the loving nurturing individual that i really truly want it because here you present with more you know physical energy but this is financial success and abundance and the willing to willingness to give and share well if you're dealing with somebody who's financially orientated to begin with and who may indeed have left you or left this connection for someone else uh, that has more money and is then realizing that, oh shit, maybe they don't have that much money. Maybe they were playing games with me. Maybe, yeah, the money, they have money, but it comes at a dear price, right? I'm not paying financially to be taken care of, but I'm paying in other ways. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right? And so they have this huge tower moment here, Cancer. And I think they realized that they made a mistake. Ooh. What? I think they realized they made a mistake, Cancer, and you're holding strong here, right? And this is why we need to go through the whole reading to really understand the initial energies because this is the reason why you're like, uh-uh, I'm not moving. I'm not coming off of my position. Oh, yeah, I look crazy. I'm the one who looks crazy hanging here by one leg. You look crazy. You look crazy going after this devil and thinking that this was an angel when it was a devil. And I know what I'm doing because I got the magician on my side. I know what I'm doing, and I'm confident about what I'm doing, and I know what I know, right? And that's the energy, and it's coming in clearly here, Cancer, very, very clearly, all right? I mean, damn. This, this reading is giving me a vibe. How do you guys see this relationship? Boom, two of wands. For you, this is exactly what you needed to see to move on. Mm -hmm. How do you see? This, is, this position is the relationship and your role in it. So, yeah, two of wands, Mars and Aries, you're like, oh, F that. I saw what I saw. You want to leave me for this? Trust me when I tell you, later on when you realize that none of this is what it is, you're going to have a wake up. And sure enough, you do. And exactly at that moment, I'll be happy to move on because I really don't need somebody in my life who's just going to move on for money or shallow reasons. You know what I'm saying, Cancer? So two of wands energy is you. Your person, what do they come in with? Death. Death. A whole nother change. A whole nother death all over again. You're dealing with somebody who's they change up quick. They change up quick. You're right. They had death coming in here. And I almost wonder if the death energy here, the big change here, wasn't so much associated with them leaving. Like the switch up, the death here, I feel was like um, sort of an omen to what was going to happen later. It's almost as if it feels like the moment they chose this individual and like the glitz and the money, because I do see glitz and money and supposedly, you know, a high high standard of living and all of that bullshit, right? Um, being taken care of, they're going to pay my bills, they're going to do all of that stuff. Um, I Like all of that reason why they left, the moment they chose for that, is the moment they sealed their fate. And when I say death, we say death and terror. We're not talking about a physical death, but we're talking about the end of something. And it feels strongly to me like the moment they made their decision to make this move for those reasons, they sealed their fate that this connection with you would be, irro you know, what did they say? Irrevocably, irrevocably changed, right? 
change in a way that you cannot revoke, change in a way that you cannot go back, right? And that change is clear because you say, okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm going to move on. I'm good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's when death really finally shows its face. It's a hint of it here. And they don't even realize it. They won't realize it until they have this tower moment. I'm going to be honest with you. They're not going to realize it until they have this tower moment. And you're going to be witnessing all of this. You're watching all of this from this position that, again, as I say, you know, you're like, uh-huh, you want to keep looking at me? You want to keep thinking that I'm crazy? Trust me, I'm not. I see, I might be, you know, the position I'm taking may look odd to you, but I see everything clearly. This is why the hanged man always has this halo around his head, the halo of enlightenment. Because sometimes you can't understand why people do what they do. You can't really understand why they take the position they take. But trust me, sometimes those positions, and it can go either way. He could, You can also be stubborn and not know anything. But in this case, stubbornly holding on to what you know to be true and what you know resonates with you in this moment for you cancer is giving you insight and enlightenment it all plays out exactly the way you expect it mm -hmm. show me more yep there's the hermit and the ten of pentacles uh-huh let's show me your person because you move on and you move on with even more abundance than they did nine of cups and the ace of swords mm-hmm interesting yep let me come to you first yeah, as far as this relationship is concerned, you see what's happened and you're like, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to take my own counsel. I'm going to move forward, right? And um that's it, right? I'm good. I'm good on my own over here. I'm good on my own because money and abundance is coming in for me regardless, right? It's definitely a karmic thing. It's definitely a karmic thing coming in in terms of this like you know, it, it's like they leave for money and they end up ass out and you're the one who has the Ten of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. You're the one, you know, because it's like it could be that, you know, maybe you, you weren't making as much for a little while. Maybe you were, you know, changing things up, changing your job up or whatever, you know, whatever the reason. Um, it's like ultimately in the long run, it's like. Sometimes people seal their own fate in a lot of ways. And making this choice over here to leave for those reasons, for these reasons that I'm picking up, it's like the universe really pays back, you know, and standing strong to your position. It's like, okay, well, I'm going to give cancer the abundance and I'm going to teach their person a little bit of a lesson here that you don't leave, you know, you don't make decisions based on those shallow kind of motivations. They come in with a nine of cups and an ace of swords as far as this is relationship is concerned. I think they remember they have an awakening. Ace of swords mm -hmm, is an awakening. It's information coming in. It's not so much enlightenment, but it's like information and understanding and clarity. Huge clarity, new clarity. Clarity on a situation you haven't had before coming in. And I think they realize how happy they were with you. That's the clarity. Because Nine of Cups is really happy, blissful energy. And it just feels like, because when we're looking at this position, we're looking at how, how you and your person see the relationship or see the roles in a relationship. And I think they wake up after this tower moment. They realize with the death card here that something has changed beyond repair here because of this. And they remember, they begin to remember how happy they were with you. Mm hmm. This has got to be this has got to be extremely satisfying, Cancer, because I think somebody really did you dirty here, right? And um, <laughs> listen, you're coming out of this okay. You're coming out of this very much okay. All right. Let's see how you end up. Final outcomes: Wheel of Fortune and Queen of Pentacles. Interesting. Wheel of Fortune energy comes in for you and Queen of Pentacles for your person. Well, I believe that for you, events are going to start happening. Uh, luck is happening. Divine events are coming in. All of them to kind of nudge you back on your path. You know, this individual here clearly wasn't meant to be your sort of long-term path, right? Somebody who, le you know, who... Somebody who instigates a situation or leaving somebody like under these circumstances, that's not the type of person you want to have a long-term relationship. But everybody serves a purpose, right? And it just feels as though you've come out of this and 
this has almost happened for a good reason because you need to be put back on your path. And being with that individual is not part of your path. It just wasn't, right? It was part of you learning something on your path, but you know, it's like not that not not the path of abundance, you know what I'm saying? And so now that you you're moving forward, it's like more and more of the right opportunities will be coming in. Queen of Pentacles comes in for your person. It almost feels like somebody in their life is going to come in who has a lot of sort of clout with them, a lot of respect, somebody who might even be a little bit older, maybe a mother figure who comes in and picks up the pieces. Because after this tower moment and two death cards, there's a lot of pieces to pick up. There's a lot of pieces to pick up. Let's pull out your Zodiac cards and then we'll get to your Zodiac runes. Interesting reading, Cancer. Damn. Yeah, they definitely sealed their fate the moment they made the moves that they made. You know, oh, what fell over? Influence, yep. That was some of the thing, Mercury and Libra influence. Yeah. They may have felt, they may have run after somebody who they thought could be more influential. Drama, hello. Okay, Mercury and Leo, of course. One more. And we have endurance. Damn. Look at that endurance. Sun and Scorpio. Wow. Look at that. It's just choking out the lion. <laughs> endurance okay you know we're talking about the strength to keep going and endurance is hanged man energy like just staying the course staying the course drama drama i love these cards they're so beautiful drama this is the oracle of the radiant sun deck mercury and leo energy take that for what it is because definitely another a lot of drama with tower moments and death and your person doing all this dumb shit influence influence has come in somebody is really Influence, you know, Mercury and Libra. Somebody really kind of, you know, blew some fairy dust in your person's face and they fell for it. Hook, line, and sinker. All right, let's get your Zodiac runes out. See what kind of Zodiac signs you may or may not be dealing with. You have a Sagittarius. All right, some of you are dealing with a Sag. You have, oh, an Aries. More fire. Some of you are dealing with an Aries. Okay, one more. And some of you are dealing with a Scorpio, your sister's sign. Damn. All right, I'm going to leave those right there, and I'm going to call this reading a day. Thank you so much, Cancer. Wow, what can I say? Uh, this reading was pretty incredible. I hope it gave you some insight. I hope it resonated for you. If it did, just hit the like button. I really appreciate that. I'm going to go ahead over to the extended. We're going to go a little bit deeper. We might even be able to see a little bit more about what's going on here. We're going to get some animal spirits out as well. But for right now, Cancer. Cancer. Cancer Cross Watchers, I wish you all love, life, and happiness. And I thank you for your time watching this video. I hope to see you next week for your weekly love tarot. Bye-bye now.